Okay, my friends, today I'm in St. Jay. Hooray. <laughs> my name is Rocket and you are watching Rocket in Vermont. St. Johnsbury has a population of 7,300 people. When it was originally founded, it was called Vesper, which is odd, but now it's St. Johnsbury. Now the story I'm gonna tell you today is a very Vermont story, but to understand that, I think we need to dive into some local history. So let's do that. The Fairbanks Museum and Planetarium is a museum where they do the Eye in the Sky broadcast for VPR. The St. Johnsbury Academy is a highly acclaimed high school right here in town. The Athenium is an art gallery and a library, and it is also open for free to St. Johnsbury residents. What do these three institutions all have in common? They were all founded by the Fairbanks family. Now this is where it gets really Vermont. Back in the 1800s, there were two brothers who moved up here from Massachusetts. Their names were Erastus and Thaddeus Fairbanks. Got it? Now these brothers saw a business opportunity in the industry, of all industries, in hemp. But they weren't farmers. What they were going to do is they were going to process the hemp. But a huge problem they had was all these farmers were coming in, they couldn't tell how much hemp was actually being brought in. They had this really archaic uh, way of measuring it using a log in this gigantic scale. It was very inaccurate. Now, Brother Thaddeus was very clever. He invented the platform scale. Basically, you weigh the wagon twice, once when it's full of hemp and the other time when it's empty and you subtract the difference, that's how much hemp they brought. Pretty ingenious. Now, it turns out that manufacturing the platform scale was vastly more profitable than actually trying to process hemp, which is kind of a familiar story here in Vermont. So the Fairbanks brothers pivoted and they ended up building this gigantic manufacturing company, which at its peak hired almost a thousand people right here in St. Jay. Now, if you think all oh, that's cool, there's more, but first I need to put on my other hats. Let me tell you about Eat Vermont. We are building a community of people that is passionate about local food in Vermont. So if you love food, drink, farms, Vermont, follow us on social media or visit us on our website. We have a merch store. You can swag out. Pretty awesome. Let's get back to it. In addition to St. Johnsbury's beautiful downtown, there are also a lot of wonderful outdoor activities you can do in this area, including this, the Lamoille Valley Rail Trail, which is being completed this year and is over 90 miles long. To understand St. Johnsbury, you have to know about two institutions, Catamount Arts and Dog Mountain. They're both very colorful institutions. I think they reflect the inner um, spirit and vivacity and effervescence of St. Johnsbury. <laughs> Catamount Arts was started more than 40 years ago by Jay Craven, who is this legendary filmmaker who's also behind the Middlebury Film Festival and the Woodstock Film Series. They host music every summer at Dog Mountain. Dog Mountain is basically this monument, this tribute, this worship to dogs. <laughs> it's a 150 acre park where dogs are not only welcome, but encouraged. Now, before I sign off, I want to tell you about two businesses that are relatively new and anchor this community on both sides of Railroad Street. Haven, which is a furniture shop that specializes in mid-century modern furniture, and Bull, which is a great bakery, a community favorite where people come to gather. Even though St. Johnsbury sits at the intersection of 91 and 93, it's not a place that you would accidentally end up in. You have to be really intentional about coming out here. And I feel like with this community, you can feel this rising energy of all these small businesses that are making it work right here in town. There is an intentionality about that that I think makes this place very, very special. That's all I have for you today. My name is Rocket. You're watching Rocket in Vermont. Thank you for joining me in St. Johnsbury. I will see you in the next video.